Meanwhile, the Lehigh Valley Conference Girls Volleyball Tournament getting underway last night with the semifinal rounds. Top-seeded Central Catholic won the West Division, finishing 13-1 in conference play, squaring off with four-seeded Bethlehem Catholic, who won the East Division. Third seed Nazareth, meanwhile, won the North Division, while second seed Emmaus qualified for the final spot with a 12-2 league record, finishing second in the West behind Central Catholic. You got all that? Well, Kristen Mayer has the highlights from the matchups. Last year, the Vikettes got knocked out of the LVC tournament in the semifinal round, but went on to win the state title. This year, the Golden Hawks were up against this central team, who made winning this league title one of their season goals. In the first game, Becca goes point for point with the Vikettes. They'll fall behind by four, but Leslie Tintel attacks at the net, and the Golden Hawks will tie the score at 15. It's neck and neck from here until Becca pulls away, and Lauren Hess delivers a kill that tips the net and falls in on Central as the Golden Hawks take game one, 25-22. In game two, the Vikettes rally to pull away. Colleen Nasevich smacks one down. Then alongside Claire Fitzpatrick, she'll make a great stop at the net that falls back in on Becca. The Golden Hawks work to stay in it, but Central will go on to win 25-18, tying the match at 1-1. It's all Central in game three as the Vikettes come out on fire. They put on the pressure early and continue to deliver, cruising to a 25-12 victory. In game four, Central steps out in front, but Becca comes firing back. With the score tied at 10-10, the Vikettes open up a big run, and they'll go on to win 25-17, defeating the Golden Hawks three games to one. We started off slow, and we knew we had to pick it up. We knew that they were going to keep playing good, so we had to pick our defense up at the net, especially, so um, an offense would eventually come, so it all came together at the end. In the second matchup of the night, the Blue Eagles, who lost twice to Emmaus during the regular season, were looking to change that outcome in their first LVC tournament appearance. In game one, the Hornets come out blazing. They'll heat up the court and have no problem nabbing the 25-13 victory to take the 1-0 lead. But game two is a totally different story. It's neck and neck right from the start as both teams stay within a point or two. Tori Hampshire smacks one down for the Eagles, but Aaron Bond has an answer for her Hornets. Emmaus goes ahead 23-22 as they find a hole in the Nazareth D, but Lauren Broat puts down two kills. Tied at 25, the Eagles go up 26-25, and then Broat's serve falls just inside the line, giving Nazareth a 27-25 win to tie the match at 1-1. It's another back and forth battle in game three as both teams fight to take the lead in the match. Nazareth's Faye Lucas ties it up at 16, and the Eagles will start to pull ahead. They'll go on to win the third game, 25-21. In game four, it's neck and neck the whole way through. Lindsay Whipple lays down the Hornet D, but Bond retaliates with an unanswerable attack of her own. Nazareth pulls ahead as both teams near 25. Amanda Danger puts her Eagles up 23-21 with this kill here. Then Hampshire makes a big play at the net to give Nazareth the 24-22 lead. And Lucas will seal the deal for the Eagles as she attacks from the left, delivering the game-winning kill. Nazareth defeats Emmaus three games to one, advancing to the LVC final for the first time in school history. Came out a little flat in the beginning, maybe a little bit of nerves. First time ever in the Lehigh Valley Conference tournament. So we had a little bit of nerves right from the beginning. They rebounded really nicely and started playing as a team. Central and Nazareth now play for the league championship right back here at Liberty High School Thursday night. In Bethlehem, I'm Kristen Mayer for Two Sports. Well, a great year so far for Nazareth Central Catholic, who Central Catholic is. They're looking for their seventh straight league title. Well, we wish them the best time.